Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, I have a few things to do today. Well, a couple things. I was getting ready to do some plant chores off camera and I realized that my philodendron royal queen has thrip. Now, I think that I've had thrip, thrips, I never know what it is, if it's thrip, thrips, I don't know. Anyway, I didn't know if I had them on my Syngonium, not my Syngonium, my Monstera Thai Constellation. I'm almost certain I did, but they were so microscopic. There were markings in the leaves that kind of led me to believe that I did, and the plant ended up dying. So this plant, as you know, is a very dark red plant. So pests stand out on the leaves. And I actually noticed it on the stem the other day. I'll insert a picture here. And I, I sent a group text to Adam and Becca and Adam was like, yeah, that looks like it's thrip. I was like, it's just fun, fun. So I will insert another little clip here of a close up of the leaf that really shows them. I feel like I watch videos sometimes where people are talking about their pests, but they talk about how they treat it and they really don't zoom in on what they look like. So I, I feel like it's really hard to determine what pests you have. The internet doesn't help very much either. So hopefully that helps um, you identify what these little things are. They look like little stick bugs. They're very thin, very hard to see. They will do some damage. They actually bury themselves within the leaf and I think that they lay eggs in there or they like that's how they I, I don't know. I, listen, I'm not a botanist. I don't know the scientific terms. I only know what people have told me and the little bit of, of information I got off the internet um, they can do some damage to your plants and essentially kill them if you don't get it under control. So today I'm going to be treating this plant with some Bonide 8. Uh, this stuff is, is pretty good. It, I've seen people use this for thrip and as you can see it actually says it in here that it will kill thrip. Um, actually it says thrips on here so maybe it is thrips. Okay we'll go with thrips. Um, so I'm going to just wash it down, treat it, and I'm going to show you how I do that. And then I'm also going to be plant boosting, yeah, that's a thing, my Adansonii tree cutting that I got from my dear friend Becca. So I wanted to show you how I do this and like what I'm doing. I'm doing a little bit of experimenting, also trying to kill a bug that I don't think I've ever dealt with before. So I was like, I have to film it. I have to show you guys in case, you know, you're doing, going through the same thing I'm going through. Okay, let's get into it. I think I'm going to deal with my Adansonii first and then we'll get over to Little Miss Thrips Haven over there. Okay, this is my beautiful Adansonii cutting that I got from Becca. She has a gigantic tree in her um, green room at her house and it is just so beautiful. The fenestrations are gorgeous. The sun is a little crazy today so I hope you can see all this but so I got this cutting with all of these leaves so there's one two three four five leaves beautiful. It did great. Potted it up in some Dela tanks and then it put off this cute little runner of leaves and uh, they're tiny. They're still very pretty, but they're tiny. And then another one's popping up over there. So my home is really not the best condition for this plant. This plant does love high humidity and um, a lot of light. And I actually have it sitting on top of a bookcase in the office in the house. It's not even under a grow light, I know. I'm a bad plant parent. It's a very large plant though, and it actually wouldn't fit on my grow shelf. So I think it needs its own light. I think I'm gonna put it in something else and give it its own grow light. But first, what I wanna do is I wanna try this out. PT Booster reached out to me on Instagram and asked if I wanted to try their plant booster stuff. So I was like, yeah, I'll give it a shot. Now I have not tried this yet. 
this is going to be the first time I'm using it but I was told that you just add a splash in your watering can and this coincides with your fertilizer so this is not a fertilizer it's not a replacement for a fertilizer it's simply a plant booster it's supposed to make your roots of your grass extra strong too so if you have like turf grass your um plants outside uh, if you're growing vegetables it's supposed to help produce more vegetables so yeah i'm uh, i'm excited to use it i'm excited to see if it works on this because i think this would be the best plant to test it on so maybe i'll do a follow-up video in like a month or two and let you know how it's doing and show you what it's what it's got going on but i am currently using arbor fertilizer and actually that video is going to go out in a little bit so more to come on arbor fertilizer and plant care but um so i'm going to use this with it so i just popped a little splash into a water bottle here and literally all you need is a splash mix it up with some tap water and i'm going to go ahead and pour it over this now i gave the plant a very good bath i watered it already let me show you it still has little droplets on the leaves so what we're going to do is we're simply going to just pour this onto the plant let it soak through and there we go that's about two cups worth this is a pretty big plant so that'll drain through oh maybe it needs a repot it's not draining fast enough for my standards oh wow you know like i'm kind of tugging on it and i feel like the roots may be pretty pretty bound up in there interesting okay maybe we'll repot it too eventually not today but i'm gonna let that drain through and then i'm gonna just put this back up on the shelf where it was before so i can see if it really does help and um boost out some bigger leaves now the leaves are small like i said because the conditions just aren't the best so i don't know i i still think that they're really cute I may end up cutting this runner off and propagating it, but I don't know. I just want to kind of see. It's a decent, it's a decent runner. You know what I mean? Like the leaves are not that far apart for me to want to, you know, chop them off and propagate. It looks pretty. I love how Adansonia is trail. Anyway, okay. Now that that's done, I'm going to go put that back and we're going to get started on these thrips. scared this is pointed very high but it's really bright so if i point it any lower it's going to be super sunny but okay so i showed you earlier the pests are pretty much on this leaf here you can kind of see them there crawling around Ugh. it's just so much fun i'll try to circle them here on the screen just in case you don't see them they're very very tiny but they're also, like there's a new leaf coming in here. It's fitting that they would be on the newest leaf of the plant because that's typically what plants like to feed off of is that new fresh growth. I don't know what it is about it. Again, not a botanist, but they love it. So I don't see any lower like on any of these leaves, but I'm treating this whole plant. So I have this cute little plant brace here which is, it's like a little stake to hold your, to hold your plants up. Come on, focus on this. See what I'm saying? The sun's like super strong. I'll link this below in the description. I got this from a small Etsy shop and they're so cute. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to point you down and you're going to treat these with me. I got my camera wet doing that but I pretty much just gave it a real good spray down and now I'm going to spray it with some Bonide 8 
and we just want to make sure that we're getting every little crevice that you can possibly get. I'm kind of running low on this because I used it on some mealy bugs. So I can't tip the bottle or it won't spray. It's so annoying. They need to make the bottle to where you can spray it at any angle because this is just ridiculous. I'm curious to know if you've had thrips. If you can comment below and let me know what you used to treat them. Um, most of the people that I watch that I've seen have them have used the Bonide 8. I feel like it just does a good job killing off everything. But I don't know, there could be something better. So let your girl know. Oh, this is not spraying. Come on. Okay, and now I'm going to let the bone, the, the Bonide 8 sit on the plant and I'm just gonna isolate it from my other plants and hopefully we'll be good to go. I'm gonna give it one more good water in the soil. I'm gonna also wash this saucer that it was in. And I'm gonna spray some Bonide 8 just on the saucer itself. Just in case any crawl out of the bottom drainage hole. Why not? Why not? There's no science to that. Okay, now I have to clean water off my lens. Shit. Anyways, all right guys, that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, let me know what's worked for you with thrips on your plants. And I checked the rest of my collection. I don't see any, but I am very close to buying a magnifying glass because like I said, it's really hard to see these things. And I have 20-20 vision, last I went to the eye doctor and I still have a very hard time finding pests. So let me know what you did for yours in the comment section below. I really hope I don't get a lot of comments on this because I'm hoping a lot of you haven't experienced thrips because I don't wish them on anybody. But you know, sometimes it happens. Oh, I thought I saw more. <laughs> Man, that was just water droplets. See, I can't see. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks again for joining me in today's video. And I will have everything I use today in this video linked in the description below. So if you want to try it, feel free. And uh, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.